Shabbat Shalom. This is Larry Mitchell with Friends of Israel. We are currently looking at the Jewish holiday of Passover, and we've been looking at the elements. Today we are going to be looking at the wine. The wine has to be red because it represents the blood of the Passover lamb. Now, the blood of the lamb was slain and was sprinkled upon the upper and two side posts. We read about this in Exodus 12, verse 7. And they shall take some of the blood and put it on the two door posts and upon the lintel of the houses where they eat it. And I've shown that to some of my Jewish friends. You put it on the two side posts and upon the lintels. And they become very surprised because when I put it on the two side posts and the lintels, I actually am making the sign of the cross. And they're very interested to see that. Now, those whose door was covered by the blood of the lamb were protected from the angel of death. It was the Lord who passed over the homes defending the faithful ones from the angel of death. So it wasn't the Lord who killed the unfaithful people that day. It was the angel of, the de angel of death. What the Lord was doing, he was protecting those who were covered with the blood. Exodus 12, 13. Now the blood shall be a sign for you on the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And a plague shall not be on you to destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. Exodus 12, 23. For the Lord will pass through to strike the Egyptians. And when he sees the blood on the lintel on the two doorposts, the Lord will pass over the door and will not allow the destroyer to come into your houses to strike you. So as the angel of death was coming upon each Egyptian home, and potentially upon each Israeli home, the Lord passed over. And the Lord would continue to pass over the chosen people. We read about the Lord passing over Israel, uh, over Jerusalem in Isaiah 31, 5. Like birds flying about, so the Lord of hosts defends Jerusalem. Defending, he will also deliver it. Passing over, he will preserve it. The Lord passes over the children of Israel. For Christians, the blood upon the, the head and side post paints a picture of the cross. The blood of Jesus cleanses a believer from sin and protects them from the second death. 1 John 1, 7. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his Son, cleanses us from all sin. Revelation 12, verse 11. And they overcame him, they overcame Satan, by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they did not love their lives to the death. In Judaism, the tradition continues with the wine for Shabbat meal and for the four cups of Passover representing the blood that was shed on Passover. The four cups, there are four cups of wine taken at the Passover Seder. This ceremony was based upon the four I wills of Exodus 6, 6 and 7. Wherefore say unto the children of Israel, I am the Lord, I will bring you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians. I will rid you out of their bondage. I will redeem you with a stretched out arm, and I will take you to me for a people. The first cup, the cup of sanctification, Kedush, based upon I will bring you out from under the burdens of the Egyptian. The second cup, Simcha, the cup of praise or rejoicing, and I will rid you out of their bondage. Third cup, Baruch, the cup of redemption, and I will redeem you with a stretched out arm. And the fourth cup, Hallel, the cup of acceptance, 
and I will take you to me for a people. During that Passover, during the Lord's Supper, when Jesus partook, he partook of the first three cups of Passover. He, took, he partook of the cup of praise, the cup of redemption, the cup of uh, sanctification, but he did not take the cup of acceptance. Matthew 26, 29. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine until the day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. Jesus will partake of that fourth cup, the cup of acceptance, when he comes back and establishes the kingdom in Israel. The Jewish people did not accept the Lord at his first coming. They will at his second coming. At that time, Jesus will finish the Passover meal by partaking in the fourth cup of acceptance with Jewish believers at the beginning of the millennial kingdom. Likewise, wine in Christianity represents the shed blood of the Passover lamb, and Christians understand that to be the Lord Jesus Christ. We read about that in Matthew 26, 27 and 28. And he took the cup and gave thanks, and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it, for this is the blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. This is Larry Mitchell, Friends of Israel, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.